Watson, but he's very athletic and can do a lot of things like Watson could early in his career. Well, I don't think it's coincidence to you that when Southeastern ignited its offense, it was that young quarterback who was under center. Georgia, and uh, he is the real deal, and he can make all the throws. He's a very, he's a dual threat guy right there. You see, he's a, he's a weapon as a foot soldier and gets out of bounds for a first down. It's the first first down of the game for Southeastern, trailing 9-0 on a safety. And then a touchdown pass from Sam Houston. But they, earlier this year, and Darren Johnson has a best of 176 yards in a game. That's a lot of people and a lot of yards. You got a lot of weapons you can draw from, and he goes Nunez. Nunez appears to have a first down, but there is a penalty marker down. And right now, Sam Houston is just knocking the Lions off the line of scrimmage with excellent blocking up front. Briscoe has a lot of time. Now he is pressured and down he goes. He was yanked down by Fred Brown. It's the first sack of the game. School down near New Orleans in the River Parishes. Great step. He just doesn't quit fighting and comes off the block of Watanabe and just records his. Uh, now he's got a sack and a half on the season, but a great play by the 6'2, 265 pound defensive head. Play third and 14. Briscoe facing the charge again. This time he fires it downfield. It's tipped and falls incomplete. It was intended for Nathan Stewart. Look, he, you, you, you missed the blitz, but he came up quickly. And a great defensive effort that time by Torrance Mosley. Start this drive, trailing 9 nothing. They are 90 yards away from the end zone. A quick pitch out to Jawan Dickey. He's got some short yardage on the right side. Dickey, one receiver for the Lions with 29 catches coming into the game. He curls back and catches the ball away from his body. Nunez hands it off to Eugene Bethay. Though thus far, our Lions had the hands full with him. He's a senior from Seguin, Texas. Third and very short, and that's good enough for a first down as Bethay powers his way for the needed yardage. One transfer Southeastern with 10 FBS transfers with 31 Juco transfers for the Lions. This is kept by Nunez. He steps outside. It appears he's got enough for another first down. Nunez yard run. Yeah, but I invite you to watch the block by Jawan Dickey, who tacked on 20 pounds, number one, on a block on the edge. Those 20 pounds of muscle added to his uh, here out of Marietta, Georgia. It's a fresh set of downs at the 32-yard line. A fake, a throw to the outside. Dickey's got it. He steps forward, and he is right at the first down marker. Uh, Nunez repays the favor and comes right back to him. Dickey, who had eight grabs for 99 catches. He's the top receiver this year as well. First down, Nunez keeps after faking to Buffet. And three yards, perhaps four. On Austin Mitchell, a speedster. That wide receiver has checked into the game. They throw it to Austin Mitchell. It's tipped and bobbled and falls incomplete. Austin Mitchell ends, but he could not reel it in. He was an all-district quarterback, and you may remember his uncle, Brian Mitchell, played 13 years in the NFL. He had a, on a post route, just threw it a little behind him and he's caught 10 balls. He's really come a long way and just a freshman out of Plaquemine, Louisiana. Third and six, the throw over the middle is caught for a first down. There is some running room. Cut back inside the 30 to the 25, all the way to the 20 yard line or so. Nice run and catch, Javon Connor on the reception and watch what he does after he receives the ball. Javon Connor, the fastest wide receiver with a 4 3 8 40. 12 and a half yards per reception. And the one he just caught was his longest reception of the year at 34 yards. Southeastern will attempt the reverse or at least fake it, but Faye's going to keep it. And he is banging off Bearcat tacklers and manages to turn it in to a slightly positive great gain after being in jeopardy behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, look at this play by Bethea. Look, he almost gets tackled by Hall. It was supposed to be a handoff. Then he stiff arms around the left side, continues on his journey, runs right over the line. Turned a 10-yard loss into a one-yard gain. The throw to the back of the end zone. It's well out of the reach 
of Juwan Dickey. And then on the ensuing drive, following the free kick, the Bearcats got the game's only touchdown. Nunez will keep it on third and long. He dives ahead. It appears he's got enough for the first down. It will really good running skills. We talked about how he did a very good job running as a quarterback at South Carolina against George and Clemson. And wow, I tell you, a, a touchdown saving tackle. 51 yards already. Contreras is the second leading tackler for Sam Houston. Here's a bang play off the right side by Bethay. He is going to go. Nunez on the keeper to the two to the one touchdown Southeastern Lorenzo Nunez had Summers away officially and that's his fifth rushing touchdown of the season a really good block right there by number 59 Michael Vick with a kick out watch him pull from his right guard position in a nice hole right there allowing Nunez to cut up as if by Dylan Burkhardt Burkhardt sends it on its way with a 10 mile an hour north wind and it is good. He, he could see him, the punter could see him, it's just uh... That one I think they got away with. Here is Darren Johnson out of Long Beach, California. Three 49 point games in a row and the last two games 56 points for the Lions. They've been held to three so far tonight. The throw is on the money, caught for a first down. In Sam Houston territory, a very good throw. He... Look at the protection he's got. Look at the protection that Nunez has to deliver this throw. And that is a tough out throw. You have to throw a rope there because if it's a little underthrown, it could be intercepted and returned. Here's a reverse to the wide receiver, Price. Price turns the corner. Price gets a block. Price to the 40, maybe a little bit beyond it. He's going to be. But Price was able to turn it into a decent game. That was a reverse to Jaco Price from Crowley, Louisiana. Nice cut there. Cuts it back. And then watch this cutback block. Bow. That opened it up and uh, air it out. No safety for the Bearcats. Here's a run to the outside. Johnson turns the corner. Johnson inside the 25. And Johnson is rolled out of bounds. Carnage to the southeastern Louisiana Lions who have found their offensive rhythm on the last couple of series. Nice blocking there by Tahuma on the left side, left tackle, and a nice block downfield by Jawan Dickey, number one for the Lions. Good blocking up front. Nunez has a running back at his right. That's Johnson. Nunez fakes. He whips it over the middle. Clark touchdown, southeastern. Austin Mitchell on the slant pattern, and that ball was delivered like threading some silk through the eye of a needle. That was a skinny post to Mitchell, who now has a team-leading five touchdown catches right between where the safety would be. We just said there was no safety back there for the Bearcats. And Early 9-0 now take a one-point lead. 12-25 remains in the second quarter. Southeastern 10, the Bearcats 9. Time. Petit Ferrer rarely gets a chance to return a kick. He is the leading kickoff returner in the country. Out to the 40. He is one exciting young man when he gets the ball in his hand. Starting as Travis Romero mans the center spot for the Lions. Nunez is 5 for 11. He throws it deep. It is incomplete at the 30. There is a penalty marker down on a ball in dual running backs now to the either side of the quarterback. A delay to Marcus Cooper. We have not seen much of him. Cooper um, tonight. He picked up three on that carry. The line to make for a first down is just in front of the 35. Nunez keeps it, and he's got running room. He is all the way down near the 10-yard line. It's the second time we've seen some very tired defense went toward the tailback. And he read option here. He pulled it that time, and everybody went with Darren Johnson, and Nunez is unattended except for Contreras makes the stop inside the tight ends or H-back, fullback types, and Jenkins is one of them. First and goal. Here is Johnson. Johnson to the five. Johnson to the four before he's... This will be a 21-yard attempt, angle right. Burkhardt smacks it, and it is good. So Dylan Burkhardt, who has hit a couple of field goals tonight. Now, 
Briscoe sends a man in motion to the left side, hands it off, and the Lions are all over Corey Avery. Get the stop, number 98. He takes on a pair of blockers, and Driss kept that left arm free. Good leverage there on the play, and he was joined by a host of teammates, including... The Lions rush four, now five. Throw to the outside. Very close coverage. Incomplete intended. You can't cover any closer than this. Singers is right in his back pocket. Swats it away. And fourth down for the Bearcats. Nice throw, but great coverage. Nunez sends a man in motion. Petit Ferrer almost caught that one in the helmet. Look at Nunez weave and spin. And he's chopped down. Changing things up with Nunez. He'll keep it. He's got an option pitch man available, but he makes the wise choice as he saw a schism appear. And 10 from the 43 yard line. But they, nothing again. The last two times he's touched the ball, he has drawn traffic in a hurry. So there is time to make things happen. The first order of business is sustaining the drive. Nunez looking, steps into the throw. Caught for a first down at the 35-yard line. Nunez, Nunez delivers right into the hands of Jake and Graffia. That was a big-time throw and a slant. Nunez with good protection and just fires a bullet. Right Jake and Graffia on a big third-down conversion. And Nunez threw it right between a pair of defenders and... Contreras was back there as a safety. He Lions right now are not within field goal range. Southeastern still has two timeouts. Nunez, straight drop, has time. Throws it outside, caught in traffic. A nice throw and a better catch. There was contact as that ball arrived. With a Josh Price collaborated. And look how tight, this is a big time throw between a pair of defenders. It's a little bit to the left, a little to the right, and it's intercepted or incomplete. And, and I beg your pardon, that looked like Connor on the reception. That was a big catch by Connor. Second down and short. Nunez will run out of the pocket. Now he just flips it forward. It's grabbed for a first down, and Southeastern has a... First down territory, and now the Lions are certainly in field position. Look at this. This was... Improvisational here as he just throws it to Bethea and Bethea just knows what to do. Head north. Good snap, good placement. Kick is away and it is good. Dylan Burkhardt has three field goals tonight and an extra point yeah, and in the Southland Conference and that was to this Sam Houston team. You know, one thing Ron Roberts talked about, Lynn, is, is the Lions have not run with a tremendous amount of success in the first half, and that's their, uh, that's their bread and butter. 10.53 remains in the third quarter. Running room, this time for Buffet. He's out to the 45-yard line. That's one of the longest runs of the game, and there... Let's see where Buffet was contacted. That, right was, on that. that was out of bounds, but not by much. Yeah. They gave the for Beverly, number 71, right tackle for the Lions. From the 46, a first down. Petit Ferrer dancing as he moves into the secondary. He is an exciting ball carrier, whether it be by kickoff return or jet sweep. And here, 170 pound southpaw from Orlando, Florida, flashes some speed and some moves. Who he's brought against. Bethune Cookman at 99 yards against UIW. Nunez hurtling, tripped up inside the 15 yard line. Here come the Lions. With a block, he maintained the block 25 yards down the field. He locked onto his, on his opponent, and Nunez got some great blocking downfield as well by the wide receivers to get uh, first down. One of those wide receivers was Jawan Dickey, who wears number one. Second and 10. Nunez has a pitch man if he wants him. He keeps to the five, perhaps to the four. 
much running out of Nunez to this point in the season. Well, he's making good decisions, and again, he's playing, uh, he, you know, you have to guard 11 against 11 when you got a guy like Nunez who can, can uh, keep it. And uh, he's made some good decisions whether to pitch or keep it himself. They have marked him about two feet short of a first down. Third down for the Lions inside the five-yard line. But they cracks his way over the four to the three, perhaps to the two, and they're six feet away from a tying touchdown. And Josh Price with the stop P and bang from a safety spot, wrapping his 5'10", 205-pound frame into Bethea. It's marked at the three. It is a first and goal. Bethea right up the middle, leaning, and he's yanked back as he approached the goal line. He was pulled away from the stripe a yard short. Third and three to the goal line. The keeper by Nunez after another excellent fake, and Nunez steps into the end zone. King touchdowns on the season. He said he pulled it and just followed the blocking. Good blocking up front, and one of them, Damian Dawson, was one of the lead blockers, gave him ample. 23 each, 6.57 to go in the third quarter. Back and forth we go here at Hammond. Highly regarded Bearcat defense. First and ten after the touchback. Nunez keeps it, makes the late pitch. Petit Ferrer is out of bounds at the 34-yard line. That'll be about a yard. That's a late pitch by Nunez. What's sure if you want to tuck it or keep it in? Josh Price made him make that decision. That Josh Price played that about as well as you could play it as a safe. Petit Ferrer on the speed handoff. Gets some nice blocking. Comes to the near side in front of his own bench. And out of bounds. Petit Ferrer on a, on a jet sweep. Just turns it up and nice block down field by Ingrafia and Bethea. Allowed him to get first. Eugene Bethea crashes forward to the 44. He'll be 44. Southeastern was pretty good in the first half, converting five of nine third downs. They will stay on the ground. But they breaks out of a tackle. It looked like he was going to be stuffed near the line of scrimmage, and he kept those powerful pinions pumping into a very impressive run. He was stopped at the line of scrimmage, and he put that 225 pounds in motion and just broke away, broke a pair of tackles. It wasn't until he was brought down well into the first down territory. But that was a nice individual effort by Eugene Bethea, senior out of Boca, Boca Raton.